Hello everyone, so we are going to learn how to submit an Elementor uh, form data to Google Sheet. So the first thing you will want is to create your brand new Google Sheet. Uh, you can give it a name. Let's call it from data from Elementor and then uh, under tools you will want to go in the script editor and here you will want to copy paste the code that you will get from my article so just come here copy and then select everything replace everything with the new code and for the most part the code just takes care of itself there is nothing to change except at, at the very beginning. If you want to have an email notification, then you can change this to true. And here you will then need to enter your email. And after that, you come to the deploy button and click new deployment. Then under the select type, you choose web app. And under who has access, you choose anyone. Then you click the deploy button here. You can also enter a description, but it's not uh, needed. And then you click authorize access. Here you go through the steps to authorize the access. You need to go uh, here under advance and then go to Untitled Project and then Allow. Then you click to copy the web app URL. And now we uh, have completed for this part, so you can close this tab. And now we need to go in the uh, Elementor where you have your Elementor form. And under Actions after Submit in the Forms option, you add Webhook. This new uh, option tab will show up. You click there and here you paste the Webhook uh, URL and then you update. Now you go on the page, you refresh, and you can just fill in the fields and send the form. Now let's go back to the Google form and you see a, there was a new sheet created called new form. And if we open it, now we have all this information that was uh, automatically generated, including what we uh, wanted. So it, it, it tells us a bunch of information, where it was sent from, the date and everything. So let's just test uh, again. Let's go back to the page. Let's enter another name. Another message. Let's send it again. And then let's see it being added uh, pretty much instantly. Oi. The test field is also added. So everything works. And it seems like the uh, email notification for when a form has been submitted is working just fine and it's sending a link to directly to the sheet so everything is working exactly as it should so this seems to be a pretty solid solution and as you can see it's uh, pretty simple to set up when you have the right code so uh, yep let me know if you find this helpful and thanks for watching